Hello everyone, Amut here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn to create nested JSON object payload for our API okay and we'll use Java map so in last video we have already learned to create a very simple JSON object using Java map okay but in real time we will not get very simple payloads we'll get the nested one nested java json objects or json arrays that i have already explained what is called nested okay so when we talk about nested json object that means a json object inside json inside another json object okay so let me show you very uh, quickly in some simple examples so that you can understand much better so I, what i'll do i will go to json online data dot org okay and uh, okay so i am here in json editor online website and what i will do so like when we talk about simple json object right so how it looks like so already i've did in last class so let me use the same thing okay okay so this is called simple json object okay here uh, like we have keys keys like id first name last name marriage salary those are keys okay and it contains a display type value right? like id contains uh, one integer first name contains a string merit content for uh, boolean and salary contains a double value right so this is called simple json object okay but like suppose uh, this particular person has uh, two mobiles, two mobile numbers, right? So we need to JSON is one way of storing data, correct? So when we have two, uh, when this guy has two mobile numbers, obviously I need to use, uh, I need to store both the mobile numbers, right? So what I can do, okay? Or, uh, um, or, or okay so uh, i will keep this example for arrays just for an example suppose i need to i need to add the address for this particular person okay and when we talk about address so we may have city names we have some street we have some building number then we can have a state name then country right and then zip code as well right in one address we can have multiple properties okay or multiple part of informations okay so if i store it like this like suppose we have something called address and we store it like suppose uh, number 81 abc road uh, not found bangalore Karnataka, right so this we have written in one line right so this will not give you better reliability what if we can if we store these information separately in a separate json object okay what i mean instead of storing as a as a string here what i will do i will add another json object means like id holds one integer value right first name holds another string value but this this node or attribute called address will hold another json object itself okay like this uh, number okay suppose has 81 then straight name okay suppose abc lane okay then we have suppose 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 uh, city right i will put bengaluru okay then we have state Okay, so, so state is Karnataka. Okay, so this is this way also we can store the value, right? And in real time, in for many APIs, we can get this kind of payload. Actually, this is called nested JSON objects. Okay, because if you concern with this much, right? This is one JSON object. This JSON object is hold by another key called address. Okay, and this is part of another outer JSON object so this is called nested json object okay so in this video we are going to learn the same how can you create this type of json payload 
okay so in real time you might get very lengthy very deeply nested json objects so but the core concept will be always the same okay the core concept will be same always that we need to stick to java map okay but now there will be some little change in that uh, in that style of creating the uh, json object now okay so let me go to my project where i am covering all the examples so in last class i have already created payload package and in this i will go and i will add a new class and i will give the name like create nested json objects okay okay perfect now let me put a main class here sorry uh, main method okay so for these many fields we are already clear like how can we create uh, the map right uh, because this the, the value are of different types right so whatever map we're going to create the key will be string but the value will will hold an object right like this kind of map map string object right uh payload equal to new new linked hash map or hash map whatever you want to use you can use okay let me import it so first four things we know first five things right id first name last name new Married in cell, we can add the values easily, right? So let me add that one. Or what I will do, I will copy it from my previous example, okay? Because these are same, okay? Now we need to understand. So let me refactor it with the same name so that I no need to change everywhere. So refactor, click on rename and paste it okay now we need to care about this actually because this is the uh, purpose of this is the purpose to explain you to create a nested json object in this video right so we know key is address okay so we need to have something like something like here i'll put address right address now we need to put the value but we are not say like whatever value i need to put it okay so what i what i will say you just ignore all these kind of things okay just ignore everything okay address hold these values right and you just think that this is my simple json object right this uh, this is uh, like simple json object right and we know how can we create a simple json object so what i need to do simply i will go and create a new map okay new map string object okay address map the new linked has map okay and in this map i will add those new fields separately right put put here right so first in number so let me copy it and paste it here right and this contains some string values so has a p1 right similarly i need to put another another three fields right so street name let me copy everything here i can time much but i think state it will be karnataka blr and street name suppose 404 not found okay 
so here what i did we we have simply created a simple json object for address part right because address holds another json object right so we create we indicate another map for that right and this address map will go as a value to address key of parent payload right so let me do control z so this is simple right this is called parent json object right inside this we have child json object right so for this child json object we need to create a map as well right because this is json object so we can we can create this using a map so that's why we have created one map here right and this map this map will go as a value to address key like for id we have integer for first name we have string similarly for address we have another json object that means we have another map okay i hope you are getting it now i'll go here and i'll copy the same example we know that i've created a dummy example just to show you how the payload will look like means whatever this object we want to create whether we are able to create it or not that i want to show you using this but dummy resuscitate example okay so let me run this program okay so if I, if i go to console and uh, okay so that exception anyway it will come let me copy it okay and let me go here and paste it here okay let me format it okay so there's some problem what might be the problem in a stop pasting the reference i copied the same in double quotes okay so that is a problem so we make mistake we just we get idea like what we what mistake we might have done and we need to correct it right so let me run it again and this time we should see a proper payload let me go to json object let me paste it here and let me format it can you see this is the type of payload we wanted right so the thumb rule is the same whatever json object you, we see for each json object we need to create a map okay so that we can represent uh, we can represent a json object json object is nothing but a java map okay there are multiple ways of creating a json object but as of now we are covering using the java map so whenever we see a json object we can create it using a map and if we have nested json objects maybe you might have it deeply nested in one json object inside another json object in with in that json object we have another json object that might be possible and that actually happens in real time okay so if you are creating the payload using java map then for each json object we need to create a map and we need to add those things right just need to keep my just you need to keep one thing in mind that what kind of value you are putting in that map since if if it contains different types of values then a map should be create created with the generic uh, where key uh, where the key will be string okay and the value will be an object type okay so i hope this will be uh, clear to you and in the next example next video we are going to learn about json array and nested json arrays okay so if you have any doubt you can always ask me you can comment on my video and seriously if you are liking my way of teaching or you want to give me any feedback it might be negative positive whatever it is i ask i request you to please provide to me so that i can um, so that i can make some better videos and uh, maybe whatever feedback or whatever improvement you suggest i will try to implement those things so thank you everyone